Hey, it's the after show. Thanks so much for supporting me, guys. We're still in the donkey van, enjoying our our MP5s. No, I can't. I can't get to. Mate, we're off to the music shop because I need bits for the game stream and stuff. You heard me, a game stream. And uh, also, I want to lick and smell all the drums and cymbals as well while I'm in there. So you got Derringers and Billy Hydes. Like Billy Hydes was closer, so we're at Billy Hydes. Oh my gosh, music shops. Oh my, like, isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Isn't this amazing? This is what they do to you. They just parade all of these wonderful instruments in front of you. Even if you don't, I don't play guitar. I don't, but I'm compelled just to walk around and look at it all. Oh, they're, they're everywhere. I love music shops. I'm so jealous of guitarists, mate. You can have so many guitars in such a small space. But you can't have that many drums in a room. It's impossible. But look, look at that. Wow, that pretty. That one here, the gold and the green, mate. I'm only crossing through here, mate, because I've got to get to the audio section where all the microphones and cables and things are held. I mean, this is where you find all the keyboards and DJ desks and things. You know, you get synths, keyboards, and then keyboards, and some more synths. Oh, a music stand. Oh, there's the DJ stuff I was talking about, mate. Scratch it up. Oh, precious microphones, mate. This is, I'm looking for Rhodes mics. Rode. They didn't have the one I wanted in stock, which proves that everyone else is buying that makes sense. Beautiful Rode mic, dang it. Oh, well, I can still go and lick and smell all the cymbals. Oh, drums are up the long stairs. Oh, gosh, the long stairs. Imagine carrying drum kits down this. Oh, yes. Oh, I love the sight of it. And actually, they're really low on stock at the moment. Normally, it's got more drums in it than this, mate. All right, they've been doing good. It's just shiny things, as far as you can see. Oh, Gretsch, mate. They've been making drums for like a hundred and something years, I think. All the greats played Gretsch back in the day. And I love that old school pearl white. Got to look at the pretty snare drums. Oh... Oh, they may, oh, maybe one day. Oh, another one of the same. Oh, carbon fiber, mate. It's like an F1 car or something, huh? Oh, look at the baby drums, mate. They're tiny, like little little bubby ones, but they're still actually quite expensive. I can get a full set. Oh, no, but they're bubby. Oh, that's a beautiful color, actually. It literally looks like the beach. Mmm, I'd lick it. Maybe I already did. Look at the little Shrek kit, mate. Oh, I didn't know they had a Shrek official instrument here. Oh, here's where the musical eggs are kept. Apart, you know, not the smelly ones in the fridge. And more shakers and things, mate. Percussion is serious business. They're not toys. They're very legit things. Whoa, cowbell. Look at the size of that donker, mate. I donk that. Oh, cajons. These are like drum kits in a box, basically. These are genius. You've heard these, and you never knew that you did. Oh, symbols. This is where all the shiny discs are, mate. We just... Oh, and actually where all the money is. These are stinking expensive, but they're nice to touch and get your fingerprints on and to hurt your ears as you tap them. These are Canadian Sabians. Oh, Zildjans, mate. They're like the oldest name in symbols. They're 400 years old this year. Oh, I mean, I'll just take all of them, especially these Constantinople ones down here. Oh my gosh, I really ummed and hard at this one. I really, really wanted to take that home. James will vouch for me. Oh, it's got the signature thing on it. It's 2300 grams. Oh, look, a cheaper symbol. I'm not a fan of the Zildjian eyes at all. And, and actually, the Planet Zeds are even worse. Don't look at me. Oh, Pisces 2002. John Bonham from Led Zepp played 2002s. I well, mean, started with Giant Beats, but 2002s, man. E drums. Uh, I stink at e drums. I, I'm an acoustic guy. Like, there's an art to playing drums quietly, but to see, like, this is an electric kit. Look at it. It looks like a drum kit, and it's getting really, really convincing. Drums are very, very hard to replicate electronically. They've been trying forever, and they, they're getting close, but the feel of a real drum kit just gets me. It's actually a fun challenge to play them quietly. But, mate, a big range of e-donkers right here, mate, like, where you can play quasi-quietly. They still make tapping noises. <laughs> drum heads, mate. These are the skins. I mean, we call them drum heads because they're not made of skin anymore. And, like, yeah, this is where they're all kept, and, like, drumsticks. You, you gotta have drumsticks, they make your cymbal sound different, they make your drum sound different, they make you play different because of how they feel in your hand. Mate, so stinking important. So, I mean, fun trip. It's always fun going into a music shop, even if you don't spend any money. Like, if you just want to check out the instruments, go and do it. It's so much fun, and, you know, the people there want to talk about the instruments. Uh, bummer, they didn't have the Rhodes mic. Oh, well, I have to borrow the one they use in my drum stream for my game streams. You know, I do have one of those mics. Go, Australia. Um, and, you know, they didn't really have much. I, I got two drum heads. That's all I bought. These are gigantic 18-inch floor tom heads. Like, they're the only two they had in stock, and they're perfect for the drum that's just arrived. It's super fun. And so, I mean, I'm happy I got this, but it, it didn't fix anything else. And um, so, yay, that's the, the magical quest in the donkey van with MP5 music power to the music store.
Well, I see you. 